Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. So it's kind of a dreary day out right now and um, just went to pick up some stuff and got back to my car. Noticed that my car is not starting. Um, it's just clicking, which, which I'm kind of confused at uh, what the issue is at this point. Um, I did leave my lights on overnight a couple days ago. Um, had to uh, get a jump to get it started. But I don't know if that's what's causing my issue um, at this point. Um, so I did a couple of tests and everything seems to work. Um, the lights on the dash seems to work. The battery turns on. The, battery, the uh, radio turns on. Um, the blower motor turns on. I can uh, I can feel wind coming out from the vents. Yeah. So um, outside of that, the only problem that I have is the engine um, isn't starting. It's not cranking. It's not turning over. It's just one single click. You know, every try every time I try to turn it on, it's click click that's all I, that's why i hear um it's in uh sometimes i i don't uh even hear that I, I don't even know if the click is coming from you know um you know i like yeah i'm just a little bit confused on that so um what i did was i did try to get the car jumped um the car uh some guy tried to give me a jump and uh, it didn't turn over. It did the same thing. It clicked. Uh, the car didn't crank at all. I didn't even hear a slow crank um, on the engine. So it pretty much means that there's either no power getting to the starter, or the starter is, um, or is the the starter is not working. So what I did was. Um, I did open the hood up, obviously, um, before I got it jumped, <clears throat> um, I was doing a couple of things. I was, um, I checked to see whether, um, the terminals were rusted or had any kind of debris on it. Um, it was kind of dirty. Um, I did unscrew, uh, the connections to the terminal, um, and, uh, clean that up a little bit with, uh, paper towel. Uh, you know, try to wipe some of it off. I, I kind of spray some WD-40 on it, try to wipe some of it off. Um, I actually had a can of soda also, and I poured some soda on it um, and uh, pretty much wiped it off with um, some paper towels. Um, it's a lot cleaner than it was before. Um, it's, um, it's pretty clean now, to be honest, and it should be making good contact. Um, but uh, to be honest... I don't think it's the battery considering um, when the guy, you know, put the cables onto the car, um, it should have just started up right away, you know, even if the battery was 100% dead. Well, 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 <clears throat> let me backtrack. I've had situations where the battery was 100% dead and, uh, you know, you put cables on it immediately. If you try to turn it on, it probably would do the same thing, click, or at least you would hear some kind of uh, firing off or something like that. But um, he did leave on it. We did, uh, you know, have it left on for um, about five minutes, and um, took the, you know, took the um, cables off, and you know, it, I didn't even hear a click. I didn't hear, you know, I heard a click, but I didn't hear um, anything outside of that. Um, it wasn't anything kind of. Um, I heard a click coming from it. But uh, I didn't hear, you know, any kind of cranking coming outside of that. So that was pretty, um, you know, it was pretty uh, disappointing, to be honest with you. So I'm stuck at this place. Uh, my car is not turning on. I'm not able to drive it. Um, I'm hoping that it's not, <clears throat> it's not uh, the starter because then I'd have to get the car towed and uh, have that car, have this uh, starter replaced. And I really don't want to do that. So basically at this point, 
Um, I am going to try to figure out a couple reasons of why it's doing that. Um, I don't think it's the brake switch on this car um, because um, I actually did, uh, you know, try to figure out whether it was a brake switch, but uh, it works. I mean, the brakes work, the brake lights work. So, um, you know, normally if it's the brake switch, the brake light would not work. So that would be an issue. It's not an issue um, with this, I don't think. So basically my problem is at this point, um, you know, trying to figure out, you know, whether it is, <clears throat> I know it's not the alternator. Um, I'm hoping it's not the starter because I had the starter replaced last year. It was a refurbished starter, um, remanufactured, meaning that they actually cl uh, clean up the, uh, we replaced the part that was broken on the starter and put the new part in. So at this point, um, you know, I was, I'm, I'm hoping it's not the starter because then I'd have to buy, I mean, the starter is warranted for life. I'm pretty sure last time I checked, but, uh, I'm have to get somebody to put to, to work on it, to put it in. And that's going to be costly too. So that kind of sucks. So my situation is, um, at this point, I am trying to figure out what else it could be. And, uh, like, it might be the fuses. It might have been the fuses, actually, but it's actually not the fuses. Um, I actually have a uh, fuse tester uh, to test out the fuses. And I went through each and every one of them. And the fuse... The fuses work fine. There's no problems with the fuses. Um, all of them were tested out and all of them worked fine. So next up would be the relay on the car. Um, the relay. So I'm thinking, could it be the relay? Could it not be the relay? Um, which is, you know, which is a, a good question because the relay actually relays you know, that's what it does. It relays electricity from the battery to the starter itself. It relays the, 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 um, electricity from, from, so if, if, if there's a disconnect, um, on the relay, you're not going to get anything going to, um, the starter. And, uh, but I, I kind of ruled that out, um, because if I think about it, if you think about it, it's not going to be the relay. Because there was there there's a there's a noise that it makes. A uh, starter has a solenoid on it, and once you turn it, turn the key, it clicks. And normally that click is the solenoid clicking. Um, if it's clicking, it means that there's electricity going to the solenoid, which means that the battery is fine. Um, can't say that 100% for sure, but I'm pretty sure um, it's not the relay. Um, sometimes I've had situations where the relay, where, you know, my, my car, my car would crank and it wouldn't turn over. Uh, last time that happened, um, it would, it would crank up, but you know, it would start a little bit and it would turn itself off. I think that was the problem. I'm not sure, but I, I cleaned the relay and it actually worked. I think but that was a while ago. I'm not sure. Um, I don't think it's the relay. So, uh, what I'm going to you know, there's nothing else I could check out. I don't think there's really nothing else I could check out. The fuses, the relay, the battery is, is good. Somebody gave me a jump. Uh, you know, electricity was applied to it. I mean, so at this point, the only thing I could do is to go out, um, and to, um, bump, try to bump the, uh, the starter and, uh, Yeah, so I actually did bump the starter a couple of times. It's always best if there was somebody else to bump it and then and then um, you know to start it. Um, I, I I bumped it a couple of times with crowbar that I have is long enough, and uh, nothing happened. Um, actually, I tried it like five times just to bump it, to bump the starter, bump the solenoid. Um, and I actually did, um, try, try to see if, if there was any kind of crud on the turn, the connection to the solenoid, um, and, uh, to the starter motor. And, uh, it was kind of dingy and dirty, but I don't think that's going to cause, 
Um, I, I don't think in this case that's that's the issue of why it's not starting. Um, unfortunately, um, I think at this point I might have to call Triple A and have them tow this car. It kind of sucks uh, because you know now I'm gonna have to find somebody to work on it, and uh, it it it's just really you know it's it's really a waste of time. I mean, I, I'll probably take um. You know, I'll probably uh, try to take, um, you know, do some work on it myself, but it's just an absolute waste of time at this point. On top of that, um, the starter lasted me a year. Uh, hopefully, I can find a new starter on eBay, a used one where I could just get it uh, off a junkyard or something like that. Because even if this starter that I have, uh, even if it's a lifetime warranty, I don't actually, I'm not going to be trusting. Um, I am not going to be trusting uh, remanufactured stuff anymore. Um, I had a remanufactured alternator on my car, and that thing died out within uh, within a year or two. So I had to change that like twice, actually. Um, and uh, and it worked out where I I got um, an alternator from the junkyard, popped it in, and that has um, that has not failed me since. Um, crossing my fingers on that, but uh, at this point, I'm gonna get something from eBay. Um, hopefully, I can get it from eBay. Um, pop it in, and uh, we'll we'll get it to to jump, and and to turn on, and to work. And uh, I mean, that's all I can do at, at this point. Okay, so uh, here's the thing: I found out that it was. It was the starter that was causing the issue with my car. It was the starter that was causing the issue with my car. Um, I had my car towed. The starter was taken out. The starter was put back. Uh, you know, I got. Uh, I was able to get a starter from uh, an auction, from an auction from eBay, uh, from a junkyard. They're always posting um, the car parts on eBay. I was able to get it. Um, popped it in and it actually did work so and uh, hopefully I won't be having any other issues for my starter considering um, you know this might be a used part but it's it's well hopefully I don't have this issue for a while I mean it might be a used part but you know at least I'll know that you know um and it was, and it is an OEM part, so at least I'll know that I won't have any other issues, um, issues with it. I guess. Kind of, hopefully, crossing my fingers, you never know. But you know, I, I'll trust this more than I would trust um, a starter from. I'll trust this more than I'll trust a starter um, from, from, from you know, I mean, a remanufactured starter. So, but, um, hope you guys, ho hope this video has helped you guys out. Um, if you can, please subscribe, please, um, you know, give me a thumbs up and also, um, please, if, uh, if you guys have any comments, uh, you know, leave a comment, feedback, um, anything. All right, guys. Uh, all right. Uh, all right, guys. Take care.